you ever wonder what goes through his mind when he comes up with this stuff? Oh, I know. Only Weird Al Yankovic could come up with eat it. Okay, so <laughs> all this week we have been talking about recipes that absolutely define their decades. Uh, let's see, we had pigs in the blanket for uh -huh. the 60s. Uh, we had the Watergate salad for the 70s. Which was good. Which was delicious, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. It's all part of our celebration, WBOC serving Delmarva for 60 years. Now it's time to jump back to the 80s. The decade offered some new and surprising developments, mm. sometimes surprising, yeah. including the beginning of the lean cuisine meals. And we can't talk 80s without talking ramen noodles. I think every money starred college student, including myself, <laughs> lived on these. And of course, the Totino's pizza rolls. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Well, today's recipes were also very popular in the 80s. Pesto and the seven layer dip. Mm -hmm. Each of us is going to try one. So you're yes, trying the pesto, right? I'm going with the pesto. Here's what's going to go into the pesto, okay? You got some basil leaves, you got your pine nuts, you got your garlic cloves, you got your extra virgin olive oil. The good news about this is it really, really is simple to put all this stuff together. Okay, so you're going to get started on that. I'm on making this. the seven layer dip, and what you need for that is a can of black beans, some chili powder, uh, light sour cream, we've got some shredded cheese cheese, salsa, guacamole, scallion, cilantro. That's what you need for your seven layer dip. So I'm going to get started on mine by combining my beans and chili powder right. in a bowl here. So. I got my stems cut off of my basil here. I'm not going to put all of it in yeah. just to start. I'm going to mix in the rest of it a little bit later on. And then let's see, we're going in with the, uh, and I've got kind of a a small blender here. I don't have a full size blender, so we're going to do a portion. <laughs> we're going to do a portion. Do okay. A portion. Yeah, so these recipes are ones that you could probably not really go wrong with. Oh yeah. Because it depends on what, like if you like want more beans or mm -hmm. more cheese mm -hmm. or things like that. For instance, in my case, what we're going to do specifically is as we get into it, we're going to adjust it to taste. Ah, so, so you're going like to be doing me, a lot of tasting. You like more garlic. <laughs> You can add that, and Lisa can say absolutely nothing about Cream it. Cream and cheese. Okay, so I'm going, and I, well, I don't know about that, but um, I'm going <laughs> to say something about it, that's for sure. I am um, going on layer number two, which is the sour cream and cheese. Wow. Okay. You know, I think the 80s is when those hand mixers really started uh, I bet you're right. popping up. Because I got married in 91, and yeah. I think I got three or four of them. <laughs> It was a very good wedding, wasn't it? <laughs> it was. Let's stick some olive oil in here. Here is why, and, and this is a really particular thing for you to pay attention to. Depending on how much olive oil you put in, it's going to change the consistency of your pesto. In other words, if you put less olive oil in, it's going to make it more pasty, so it's good for crackers and sandwiches uh -huh. and things like that. If you put more oil in, it's great for what we're going to do today, which of course is the, uh, the noodles. The noodles, yeah. All right, I'm putting guacamole on, t on one. This is layer number three. Of course, you can make your own guacamole with avocados and garlic and tomatoes and whatnot, but we just bought pre packaged for layer number three. Okay, so then layer four is our salsa. Seven layers, huh? Yeah. You can, you can dump a bunch of that on there. Yeah, you, know. you like I just, lots of I just salsa? wanted to give you permission there. You I didn't gave want me you, permission? Didn't want you to think that I was going to be holding you back. <laughs> All right. Just have at it. How's that pesto going? It's, it's going. I want to let you know there are several ways you can get the shopping list and instructions on how to make this recipe. You can send us a self-addressed stamped envelope to 1729 North Salisbury Boulevard, Salisbury, Maryland, 21801. You can also go to WBOC.com and click on our picture at the top of the page, and you can give us a call. 443-880-9116. Just make sure you let us know you want the recipe for the seven layer dip and or the and pesto. Or the pesto. Yeah, because sometimes every once in a while we'll get so we'll get a request for a recipe and it's like, yeah, which one? Yeah, we'd, <laughs> we'd love to send you all of them, but it doesn't work that yeah, way. Yeah, so. it doesn't work that way. All right, so I'm putting the pesto on the pasta. There's a joke in here somewhere, but I haven't figured it out yet. <laughs> all right, I'm finishing up here. I think I've put everything in. I need to put a little bit of cilantro in. Um, Make her pretty. Make her pretty, you know, more of a, I guess it's more of a garnish than anything. Mm -hmm. And of course, not everyone likes cilantro. We've all heard that. Some people have a taste for it. Some people absolutely cannot stand it. What do you? Also, I'd just like to point out for just a moment, Uh huh. because we are frequently asked, if you've got hair like mine right now, don't work in the kitchen without a hair in that. <laughs> but if you have hair like mine, it's okay. Yeah, it's fine. There's because there's so much hairspray in it. It's, it's not going it's not anywhere. Going in. This no. hair is not going anywhere. You're going to see her looking like that next week when the decade is over. <laughs> just so I may just do it because it's fun. <laughs> because you like it. I like it. Okay, so I think my seven layer dip is done. It looks like everything that I needed is in there. I kind of I eyeballed um, 
the ingredients. Right. So what yep. I'm going to do, Jimmy? Ah. I guess I need a plate, don't I? You need. I need a plate. A chip. Here, come here. I need a chip. Oh. Here, go. Ah. Ah. Oh. Oh. How is it? That is extremely good. Is it really? It really is. Yay! <laughs> that is extremely good. Yeah. Okay. Do I get to taste your pesto now? You sure you want to? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. you, like, you like living life on the ragged edge? I do. What is wrong with you? Mm. We survived the 80s, though, so it'll be okay. <laughs> that is good. Good job. Really? Yeah. Proud of you, Jimmy. You know, sometimes we surprise each other in the kitchen. I know. It's crazy. All right. So now we have our 80s food. Up next, we're jamming to some tunes from the times. The band Anything Goes is here to take us back with a couple of the hottest hits from decades ago. And a little later on, one of the hottest tickets in town right now is one to the Delaware State Fair. Delmarva Life, Sean Stryker in Harrington, getting in on all the fun. Delmarva Life, we'll be right back. <laughs> 